fantastic. Another good day's work. Trouble seems to find us, Max. Sure. Trouble finds us the same way you found me. Slumped in a bar. Drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. Oh, hey. the women? I need to get laid, Put the baby. music on. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Now let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old man, here. old man. It's a nice echo. The gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Stabbing fucking it up, funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or. Hey. How you got involved with killers? Oh, I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my you. family. You ain't got the right. Huh? Hey, you don't, don't take that from this punk town. I ain't taking nothing from him. God oh, hasn't already deprived him. But I might oh, start any time. Now say you're Get sorry. You say fucking you're sorry. Has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away sorry, from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop con. Don't act clever. Yeah, I will blow your looking brains looking all, all over this counter this every fucking way. Come on, Tony. Come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun oh. down now. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before any of you get shot. I got you. Who the see. fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm gonna fuck off. Get you, I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay I'm right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember, remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicides. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from. All over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Cheers. What, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something? Soldier. Soldier. Cheers. Get in there. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off. Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole. No dick, asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan Guido douche. What you Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! 
I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. They'd barred the front door. Of course, we were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. I know you brought a fucking army down here, but there ain't much left of it. Oh, shit! Fire Fuck these guys! Oh, God, to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. We gonna do this? The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. Hey, say goodbye. We gotta go. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes.
make this easy for us, are they? Stay over here. Cover me. Yes, sir. He could have been setting me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him. corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street, all right? Family, more than once. Yeah, I know. So leave, you know? start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. Yo, I went on the roof. You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Pain! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! You son of a whore! <laughs> Fuck you! Shoot his ass! Scotch and pills. What could possibly go wrong? I guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. Nothing left for me here, except maybe a quick and ignominious death. Go 
Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil shit. men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be cleansed! Oh, cleansed in fire! No, oh, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Adventures of Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Much as I wanted to sit down and watch TV, there was an audience of hitmen waiting to see the final bloody act of another tired cop show. This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight, I didn't need a shield. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Gunfire over Hoboken. 
It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Motivation, let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up there! Up there! What you bitching? Oh, <laughs> oh, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! There, brother. I need his help. Five minutes ago. I thought you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. I could go on alone, but it wouldn't be so much fun. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. I was guessing the stairs wouldn't take us to the penthouse, but they were worth a shot. Keep moving. You can't afford to slack, Holmes! of leaving somewhat easier.
these chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Show the blood so much. How's this look? Okay. Around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. You think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Uh, you want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what, we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Crachapre. Why'd you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Eh, 
if somebody told them we were going to be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. Just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up. She's got to be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, I wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Glide in. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>